Hey everyone and welcome to a brand new Class 66 Rocks review. Now apologies for the lateness of this week's review. I've just been really busy um, revising for my business management exam at university which is next Tuesday. So I've been looking through pages and pages of notes and I'm trying to get it all into my head ready for Tuesday afternoon. Um, and also I've been working on an assignment that's due in the week after that. So the university work has been keeping me busy lately as you may have heard in previous videos. So without further ado let's take a look at what we've got today then. So as we can see today we have got an Eagle Moss Collections Star Trek Official Starships Collection Model and Magazine. And as you can see today, we're going to be looking at the Starfleet Delta Flyer. Now, as some of you may or may not know, the Delta Flyer was featured in Star Trek Voyager. Um, it was mainly piloted by Tom Paris, I think it was. And also, it's issue number 38. So, we'll just take a quick look at the magazine. So, as you can see, when we open the magazine, we've got the Delta Flyer specification. We've got a, quite a lot of information about it actually on the next couple of pages. So as we can see we've got diagrams and photos showing the episodes that it was in um, which is actually in the back of the magazine anyway. So that's why I'm just taking a quick look at the magazine and then we can get on with the model. So as you can see We've got a detailed specification of the different areas of the ship and what each function does. So then we go on to the design pages. Also the design pages show you um, 3D artist drawings as well. So obviously how they went about designing the ship. Okay, and then obviously it goes on to talk about how the Delta Flyer was created using computer graphics. And then last not but last but not least, we have its on screen appearances, as you can see here. So its first appearance was Extreme Risk, which was Star Trek Voyager. It only appeared in Voyager as well. So it didn't appear in any other episodes. So that's the magazine. So let's take a look at the ship. So what I'm going to do, as per usual when I do these, I'm going to look at the ship first and then I'll take the camcorder off the tripod and we'll look at the ship from a ground level. Okay, so here we have the Delta Flyer. So as you can see, it's presented in a very nice display box. So we've got the word Star Trek on the side just there. And if we turn it around again now, we can see we've got the Star Trek Voyager, Star Trek Deep Space Nine, Star Trek The Next Generation, and Star Trek Enterprise logos. And if we just look at the front of the box here, we can see we've got a Starfleet logo and the Star Trek.com website. So let's take it out and have a look at it. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do, we're just going to take this plastic lid off the top of here and we'll just take it out of the box, or out of the packaging should I say. But before I just show you that, I'll show you what else we get in here as well. So, as per usual we get our little plastic display stand which attaches to the base here. That's for putting the ship on, so I'll just show you that. And we'll just take it out of this bit of plastic bag, like so. Okay, so as we can see on the bottom here, it says Delta Flyer 0943-A slash C. So that's the display stand. So let's get on with taking a look at the model then. Okay, so here we've got the Delta Flyer. 
So it is really, really quite lightweight for a model of its size, actually. Um, some of the other starships which I have got, they've actually got a bit of weight to them. So we'll start with the front. So as you can see on the front, we have the registration number 74656. And the word Delta Flyer imprinted on the side just there. And if the camcorder will pick that up, if I just zoom in there, you can see the craft is from the USS Voyager, which is NCC, is it 746, is that a 668 or something like that? I'm going to zoom out because obviously the camcorder might lose a bit of focus. But it was a shuttle from the Voyager craft anyway, so I don't really need to go into much detail about that. Okay, so on the front here you can see we've got the window areas uh, where the pilots look out of. Um, we've got the engines, which are just round the sides and on the front. Um, obviously the Delta Flyer, if I just look at the specification page in the magazine, I can tell you what they were. Okay. So the impulse engines are just on the back of the ship, just there. We've also got lateral phaser strips as well on the front. Um, we've got warp nacelles, we've got defence shields, warp fields, warp reaction chambers, etc. So we've got everything really, that's a, it's like a mini starship in other words. So taking a look at the side, obviously, as you can see, it's quite basic, this particular model. Um, it's, I mean, it is detailed, but there's not an awful lot that I can talk about on it. So, as you can see, there's not much detail on the underneath area either. So I'll just do a brief turn around my hand of it. Um, so yes, so obviously it's, it's warp drives, it's warp cells, phases, it's all on here or underneath here. Um, but like I say, I've just checked the magazine and that's what it said it has got on it. So now we're going to take the camcorder off the tripod and we're going to look at it from a ground hey. level. Hey everyone, I'm back. I've got my camcorder off the tripod, so now let's just take a look at the Delta Flyer whilst it's on the display stand. So I'm just going to zoom in a bit and also zoom out just so you can see some of the detail that's on the ship. So I'll just turn the ship and stand around slightly. Well, like I say, it is quite a basic little ship. Um, there's obviously not much detail that I can show on it compared to some of the other models which I've got. So I'll just take a look at what there is on this ship. Okay, so that's it basically, the Eagle Moss Collections Star Trek Starship Collection Delta Flyer.